Yes, it sure does. And it is the final day of the month. So we actually have record heat again for August. 77 degrees is our average temperature in August uh, for this month. So it's now tied for the hottest August temperature of all time. So 2020 and 2011, we both had averages of 77 degrees. If it wasn't for the last couple of days, we would have obviously topped that. But the low temperatures we had today and on Friday and Saturday knocked us down just a bit. So again, another record falling in the month of August. It has certainly been a very hot month for us. We had the all time amount of 90 degree days with 27 and then we had 17 days above 95. So it was a hot month for us and today only 82 degrees 76 downtown well below that uh, record high of 98 degrees. But we certainly saw a lot of 98s this month as we wind down the month. We had four days below average and this should actually be 82 there. But we saw a lot of 90 degree days again 26 days above average. Certainly a hot day a hot month for us and you can see why we have that record temperature 78 degrees out of DIA 74 downtown so again it feels so beautiful outside and taking a look at what's happening with our temperatures statewide we have 78 in Denver 72 in Boulder 69 right now in Fort Collins 79 heading into Burlington 65 in Aspen 88 in Grand Junction 76 in Pagosa Springs and Del Norte and it is still fairly windy from Craig all the way down towards Durango Alamosa as well and because of that we do actually have some red flag warnings that are still in place from Moffitt County down to Mesa County and these will be in place through nine o'clock tonight. So there is still some high fire danger out there. A couple thunderstorms in Colorado out on the eastern plains and down south of Denver. Some scattered showers in Moffitt in Rio Blanco and Garfield counties as well. A little bit down near Alamosa as well. So in closer to the front range, not much for Denver. We could still get a few sprinkles out there tonight, but some of the heavier stuff is to the south and to the east of us. And our cool down today, thanks to that cold front that rolled through last night that whipped up the winds. This area of low pressure will pass through Colorado tomorrow. So we still stay on the cool side tomorrow. But that high pressure off to our west builds back in by the, uh, the middle of the week and we are back to the heat. So for tonight, still some showers out there. We could get some late night snow in our central and uh, northern mountain areas. Very, very light parts of Wyoming actually got a little dusty in this morning, so we'll get some of that possibly tonight. Then tomorrow morning we should start to clear out and maybe a little bit of rain in southern Colorado tomorrow. Otherwise, the rest of us are just on the dry side. Checking in with our temperatures tonight, 34 in Frisco, 33 in Leadville, 37 in Steamboat. Those will be some of our chilly spots. 52 in Denver, 46 in Lyman. We have 43 in Telluride tomorrow. Still fairly wild. 80 in Denver, Boulder and Fort Collins. 82 out in Greeley. 70s out on the Eastern Plains. 60, 70s in the high country and off to the West. And our air quality, happy to alert you that there are no alerts and we have uh, no, uh, no advisory. So we've gotten a lot better with the multiple cold fronts that have rolled through. But again, there are still more 90s this week. We could see three more days in the 90s. So it'll be hot and dry. But by early next week, we may even see some 60s. All right. Thank you, Lauren. Well, we